Oh my goodness. Donald Trump might just actually win come November. And this scares the living daylights out of every Democrat in this country right now. It probably scares the living daylights out of a lot of people all around the globe right now as well. Well, every single poll we have seen, they all show him except for Quinnipiac one who recently, you know, I've showed you this poll before. It's still consistently underperforming for Donald Trump, but every single other one has him either beating Biden or at least neck and neck like there's no change right like and you've got a margin of error in some cases of one point and we know that donald trump does not poll well right because who the heck in their right mind is telling the pollster who just calls up on the home phone hey who are you voting for you're not saying donald trump shall we say you may say you know i think he's better on the economy i think he's better on the border i think he's better on international but oh no i'm not going to vote for him so consequently when you see those polls tied they tend to tip to the favor of Donald Trump. Well, the Democrats are really worried about this, especially now that you got somebody else in there, and that would be RFK Jr., who's definitely more left than he is right. And that's making things even more scary, if you would, for those on the left. Let's look at some of these numbers. Drew and I pulled them here. I've shown you some of them before, but this is the critical one here, okay? You see this poll showing that Trump's lead, once you look at the, the real clear politics average, they take all the polls out there and they put them together, you see that his lead is growing. So if he's two points ahead nationally right now compared to Biden, well, he, he actually grows that lead significantly once you look at the the third party candidate in the race and so you see in all these different states and swing states he starts to really gain momentum except in michigan because there's a lot of sort of core sort of base blue liberals in michigan that actually would vote for rfk so it handicaps him a little bit more in michigan but everywhere else he's winning and so what do the democrats do well they flip out and they're going to double down on now anti-rfk so they're going to be anti-rfk and anti-trump it's really not ideal for them in any way shape or form now is it but then again they have those people over at the view that are willing to do their bidding and carry their water it's a disney owned company abc's the view let's watch joy behar the latest and greatest to come out slamming rfk to ask him why are you doing this why do you want to destroy the election and, and hand it to trump if possible yeah but you know, i mean he, he, take he's a this. kennedy his his forefathers are rolling over in their graves with this his own family is telling but him. a lot of people it, and we already have one clown in the race do we need two of them but a lot of a lot of people including myself believe in time there is space for a third party oh. so i i tend to think the people that take this on aren't coming at it like I'm going to ruin the election for everyone. I truly oh. think they believe there's a lane to try to create something. It's, I just don't think it's this election. Well, I think many times delusion has destroyed a country. And that's what we're dealing with here well, with this. The, the polls are too close, even though you don't believe in them. I don't. I know, Whoopi. But they're very close, even though now Biden, I don't believe in Biden is slightly ahead. And it's only, what are we, in April now? Yeah, March, April. whatever. <laughs> um, pretty soon, people are starting to focus and they'll realize the, the danger that Trump poses. I believe that. But, you know, and I'm, I'm <laughs> So she's doubling down on he's a danger, but also why the heck RFK are you doing this? Your ancestors are rolling over in their, their graves. You've seen already that members of the Kennedy family are distancing themselves. They are not happy with RFK Jr. doing this. And the, the theory on The View is that either the polls are wrong, right? As Whoopi indicated, she doesn't believe any of the polls because how could Donald Trump possibly win? Or, or in fact, he'll bow out at last minute because it's the right thing to do or or well people will just realize that donald trump is a total maniac and they therefore will not vote for him that's wishful thinking i'm telling you you know what the train has left the station and it's biden's own fault in other words the country they seem to have given him another chance and he squandered it right what do you think the last four years have been he could have made the economy fantastic. Instead, he put in all kinds of inflationary measures that did nothing but drive up prices for your everyday Americans, while wages have not increased at the level of everything else. So he did that. He's got us in this mess overseas, multiple messes overseas. Thank you very much. And he's allowed people to pour through our border at an insane insane velocity right at a rate we have never seen in the history of this country and by the way it was he who allowed this 
It was he who in the 2020 Democratic debates was out there saying, oh, we've got to welcome everyone because we're the United States of America. Listen, you can welcome people. There's a way to welcome them and there's a way not to welcome them. You do not open the floodgates and allow communities now throughout the United States to have no idea who's in their communities while simultaneously having to brunt the burden of taking on the economic responsibilities for all these people that suddenly showed up. The idea that Joe Biden's administration was caught flying people in the dead of the night all over the country. What, so they can help with their census and get more representatives in Congress? I mean, that's really disturbing stuff. So he had his chance and he squandered it. He blew it. And now America is saying, okay, we kind of we kind of miss those record low gas prices. We miss having more spending power. We miss feeling safe. And maybe we're willing to take some of the headaches and the tweets and the this and the that that come with it. That's the reality of what's going on right now, ladies and gentlemen.